what became known as Metrolink in, in, in phase one. Um, we were doing something which was brand new in this country. There hadn't been a new tramway built uh, for, for very many years. We didn't have the funding in place to, uh, to, to, to build the whole thing in one go. There was a, there was a change in circumstances then. There, there was a tremendous recession. The government decided that um, it, uh, it couldn't afford to support our building of our expansion of Metrolink. After the successful campaign to get the money back on the table, we then had to find a means of continuing the programme to, to fund the rest of it. Uh, and that's really when the, when the fund really started. Each part of the Metallic expansion programme has, has come with its own challenges, basically. Um, Oldham Rochdale line was conversion of an old heavy rail, uh, rail line. Uh, but that still meant that we had to improve the infrastructure to, to get, to get uh, faster access across to, uh, to Oldham and Rochdale. Um, the airport line, for example, we had to build two very large motorway bridges plus the 380 metre uh, viaduct across the Mersey Valley and then take the route through Withenshaw Town Centre. So we've extended out to, to Rochdale via Oldham, to Ashton via, via East Manchester, to South Manchester, to East Didsbury, to the airport. The second city crossing is vital for us to be able to offer as much capacity as we can across the city. Well, it means that we'll be able to run six-minute frequencies across most of the network, whereas at the moment we're running a lot of parts of the network with 12-minute frequencies. So we'll be able to double the frequency and provide double the capacity and double the journey opportunities because people will have to wait, obviously, a far less time for a, for a tram. Well, Metrolink um, <coughs> is not only a good system because it reaches um, seven of the ten authorities within Greater Manchester, um, but what it also does and now is it's, a comp it's, it's becoming a more of a network. So we have more and more lines coming into the city, there are more and more intersections, opportunities for people to interchange, to travel to different parts of the city, and to access major events, either the sporting events or cultural events, and just really for social and leisure purposes, as well as getting to work and back. We're constantly looking for opportunities to make Metrolink better, whether that be from a, a construction or an infrastructure point of view, or from a pure service delivery point of view, so we're servicing our customers much better. Thank you.